What this guy has anything to do with Cardi Birds? Hello, sir. Huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then <laughs> filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Oh my god. Way too much lore? Oh, okay. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote... <clears throat> Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. Oh, great. Oh, you just, just did it? What? So the address is Paimon? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Oof. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Um, let me see this letter? Of course, here it is. All yours. Thank you. Come on! Paimon wants to have a look, too! It... Kaya? Okay, it's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru. And I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I have been stopping by Jafar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as a fated encounter. Yeah, this is, um, Cody Bird. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty <laughs> does describe him pretty well. This is definitely Kaya's style? From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Right. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Well, no harm done. It would be nice to catch up with him. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Okay, cool. Let's go to Kaya. Cody Bird! We... Let's go. Oh my god, it's really Kaya. He's here. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh... Sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. <laughs> oh my god. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> We've missed you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Um... Very believable. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. What? Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos okay. about some potential collaboration. That's, uh, interesting. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. 
Guess Don Winery and Master Diluc are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? What a coincidence that I just got Diluc yesterday. <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> sure. Hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain! <laughs> I'm guessing you've been to Sumeru before? Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Mm. Mm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Um... Worry. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Yeah, I said, don't Like worry. I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Since when he is from Conria? And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. Wait, did I miss something? Since when Kaya is from... Did, does he mention anywhere that he is from Conria? I didn't... I would be only more confused later. I do I never thought he was from Conria. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. Wait, but how? Wasn't the disaster of Kenria 500 years ago? He is 500 years? What? what huh? What, what is... Wait, I am so confused. Because, like... If he was from Kanria... That only means that he traveled uh, through time or whatever. Like, he just took a portal and was like, Oh, hey! Hey, Tivat, How are you doing? I just came from Kanria. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry, I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> okay, speaking of Kanria, how much do you know about it? Why are we not surprised that he came from Kanria? Because, you know... Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Kanria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Oh, Dingsley, if you're listening to everything I see, you think only his roots are from Kanria, so... Probably his family from the past, past, past? But, like, how would he know that? Why, wh why would he know that he's from Conria? Because, like, I don't think that from generation to generation they would be like, you know, we're from Conria. Because, like, isn't it kind of... He know his birth? Okay. Okay. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up. And so I started caring less as well. Right. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to keep me alive. As well as ensuring that I'd be safely cut off from certain things, the thought that I might be able to actually live a happy life there must have been the icing on the cake. Hmm. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Hello, Dingsleaf. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? Dingsleaf? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken? So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. 
Huh? The Abyss Order. What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? <laughs> He's so chill about it. Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Hmm. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. Aren't you sure? So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I trust you, Kaya. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. Mm. <laughs> I don't think these two like each other, huh? You don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. What do you mean by that? But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. I thought my sibling was the founder? Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? So what do you plan to do here in Sumeru? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Do I remember that? It has been so long. You got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Uh, so that was already a thing several centuries ago? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. I'm always just too excited. Are we waiting for the perfect no, moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. Are you for real? Seriously? <laughs> After Dane finishes his drink, you prepare to travel to a video forest? <laughs> Seriously? I can't wait to start exploring Fontaine. Quit following me. It's in it's close to an Aranara house. Wait, isn't that Aranara house one? No, it's not. It's There's one Aranara house with um with an Aranara that tells us that our sibling Wait, an open door? Oh shit. There's an Aranara that mentions our sibling. Kind of. Huh. But it's probably not here. Wait. This place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. 
Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Probably. Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Yeah, there is only a lot of hilly churros. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. But why That's is there responsible. liquid in inside? Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... You lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, they closed the door again. Thank you, Hoyo. I was not supposed to see it before. So there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> Ugh, this place is so dusty. I don't bet no one's lived here in years. It looks Investigate carefully. We mustn't clean. miss a single detail. It does not look dusty at all. It looks very, very clean. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. Are you sure <laughs> going places with your paranoia? Huh? This is a mirror. Wait, now I can't explore the other stuff? Investigate the other stuff? I just went for what was in the middle. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? Hmm. It's just a regular mirror? Mm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane topped this place up. Um, no, okay. Yes, I can. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it, either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. How is it dark? There's light coming from outside. Hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine ball? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Is Doesn't that it? look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Let's noises? go. Noises? Is it? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. What adversaries? It truly are some slimes. Monsters? Wow. Dave's ears are sharp, just like his nose. Out. Are you serious? Although for someone who's as full of surprises as this game, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters! Oh yeah, Cyberpunk. Into the wind. We'll see about that. Gears of the storm. Yeah. 
I don't think we need it all bad for these lines. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. Oh my god, look. There must be something nearby that attracted them. <laughs> Photosense burst. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. But it's it's just his lines. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. Oh. Okay. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. He surely is. All right. Good night, Tanisha. Starfield and Payday Tree. I don't even know what I'm gonna play in September. Genshin. <laughs> Genshin Impact. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation, and as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. We never see him fighting, huh? <sighs> Fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a bonfire over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Oh, Paimon, you're always hungry. I can't blame you. I'm always hungry too, but... Uh, yeah... I think I will skip on Armored Core. I want the Elden Ring DLC, but I need to beat the boss first. Okay. You and Paimon make a fire, and before you know it, night sets in. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? Probably pretty bad, and he's dead now. <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. Yeah. You know, now that Paimon mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but... Uh... <laughs> do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Um... <laughs> how'd you respond yes without sounding rude? <laughs> um... Mm, I, I would just say she makes my day, even though this is a lie. It. Now you're embarrassing, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like being mean. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? I have no idea. The stars. Hmm. We'd gaze at the stars just like this, and we'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. That's all we did. We traveled through the universe always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. Only in games, siblings would be so nice to each other, huh? Yeah. Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why. It's just terrible. Yeah, I, I, I mean... But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. <laughs> Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. Thank you, Paimon. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. That's a first? Paimon not going to bed before me? Oh, come on! Don't say that! Paimon just wants to look after you for once. What is Paimon planning? Good night, Paimon. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. What is she planning? She's doing something. Memories of my sibling fill my mind as I fall asleep. Oh, I love this song. It's so cute. Hey, time to wake up. 
The sun has risen. Hello, Dainsleaf. What's going on with me? Am, am I drunk? Dane? What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Oh, shit. Is this because we were crying? I see. All right. Rest here a bit longer, then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. There is something very strange happening. Hmm? Why... Why are you going back into the forest? <sighs> okay. Um... How did I sleep till morning? Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shift? Hang on a moment, where is Paimon anyway? I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him, seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? Whatever the case, looks like it's just me here for now. Guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Um, <laughs> Traveler, Paimon never left without you. Ladder. Wait, did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon, this isn't the time for hide and seek. No reply, I should go inside and check. Oh! You got an achievement. Quit following me. Okay, what's going on? Halt! What do you think you're doing? Ah! This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. What is this cold leader type of outfit? Calm down. Your travel companion. You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? He, <laughs> he's from Canria, right? Because of his eyes. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. I thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. You were nearby last night. What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first. And what I do here is none of your concern. All right. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Fight me. There's something strange about this person. I need to find out why he's hiding. Just be his well, ass. What are you waiting for? I don't think I will have much luck trying to find my companion. I think I'm better off waiting here. <sighs> if you must. Suit yourself. <laughs> You're a cold leader. I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Hmm. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. I'm no villain. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. Oh. <laughs> May I join you? I was... Wait, why would you go inside a tent with with a guy that you don't know? Just kill him. You... <sighs> Girl. Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Come on, then. The heck is this situation? Well, Skara, we're gonna see some shit, I guess. Oh, Hilichero. I mean, he's weird. So, like... Why would I let him leave? A Hilichero. Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? You are strange. He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Canria? Huh? You know Conria? 
Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I've met others from Conria. Your eyes? <sighs> do you worship a god, traveler? I follow no god, though I count some of them as my friends. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida. And Ida? You are correct. I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. <laughs> Spoken like a true Canrian? That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. Thank you for the follow. Um, what is the curse of immortality the exactly? Curse. <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. I I blame everything on the Tsaritsa. I believe it was all the Tsaritsa. The other ones have nothing to do with it. It's just the Tsaritsa, right? Everything we blame on the Tsaritsa. It's, it's the easy solution, because it seems like the Tsarisa is doing the most, so... Let's just leave it to her. Why am I blaming to, blaming her? Because she's doing the most. So, like, just blame her. You know, like, she's bringing Fatui, she... She's doing whatever she's doing with the Harbingers. Like, she seems evil, so it's all her fault. I decided it right we now. We lost our home. Our loved ones. Everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. I don't know. I don't know. I think that it would be too convenient if the Tsaritsa was the good one. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. So Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immort immortality. So why did some people turn into Hilicheros while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because, although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Hmm. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. Interesting. When the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. So who is this hilly churl to you? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. What? <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... <sighs> it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. And after all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. 
What happened to his mother? She was... Killed? <gasps> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. Ooh. <laughs> it could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> Well, that makes it more painful, because you had it once. And now... Now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains, I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. What were you planning to do? Ah, oh, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if if you're uh, so inclined. Oh. Um, what is up with Curry Bird? Is he dying? So, we got a quest named after a Hilicher. Interesting. So, what are we gonna do now? Over here. Um, a crafting bench. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibear here to Sumeru. Yes. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Uh, when we were in the chasm, they said that the curse could not be undone. Is recovery really possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But is... Wh whatever did they do for the punishment to be so harsh that they would transform people in monsters... And let them be punished for ages and ages and ages. It does not seem like a fair punishment. Because if you think about it, some of the Archons also need to be punished for being irresponsible. So, like, what, what is the level of shit that went down for them to be punished like that? Because it seems kind of unfair that they would just turn a blind eye to everything that the Archons done. Um, some of the Archons, I mean, or like other gods. No spoiler, maybe something about forbidden knowledge? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's too much, like, I'm picking here, here, here. And not looking at what is happening in Tevat. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's God of Wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I mean, I have not read the manga. I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where you did hear of this. I read about it in a book <laughs> from the royal library of conria it was banned <laughs> i mean since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work in my youth i i disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do? Huh? Nothing. It's none of my business. Can I leave? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? Okay. I mean, the lectors truly say one more scene upon my soul when you're fighting them in the abyss, so... All right, don't get too worked up. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. 
I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> I, I get it. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. <laughs> my hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. What is that? Uh, I've never seen a mushroom of this kind. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. I actually do. Oh, wonderful. Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hm. Let's craft. Um. I mean, wonder, you do it. You already committed crimes. Let's commit another one. Here. It's all yours. Is it done? Oh, splendid. Let me see. Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what <laughs> the end product is supposed to look like. Okay. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Excuse me? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. All right, that can be easy from someone from Cumbria. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get that? No! Forget it. I do hate the gods. It could complicate things. I'll just do it this way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. What? Don't use this Kara? Why? <laughs> Why would I not use this Kara? <laughs> this what was that? How can I bow before this thing? Um, I do something. Hmm, how do I? There you go. God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he here I stand before you. you you cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. True, she's a baby and he's just saying all of that. My son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. I have given up all I ever stood for. 
All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God! I beg of you. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Kanria have truly suffered. Why could Kanria and the Seven not coexist in peace? <laughs> I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Things will get Let's better. Let's go. It, that's not the best response for when something like that happens. Things will get better. <laughs> they most likely won't. Yeah, Nahida was not even born. Yeah, the guy is giving his all, huh? For for his role. Oh dear me. Behold. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> huh, too slow. It's so funny whenever I have to go up hills with him. Oh, what? <laughs> what was that? Okay, Kari Bear. Kari <laughs> Bear? Is this gonna work? The Helichor seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Oh, yeah. We've prepared the medicine. <laughs> we might as well try it. Mm, with your help, I'd. 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 I'd I forgot. Kari Bear. It's me. It's your father. Kari Bear. Anything? Kari Bear. Please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I. I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. Stop. <laughs> oh, gods above. What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just eluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Uh, other reasons? What do you mean? Who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. We should not be giving him hope like that because... Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust our options unless you are ready to give up on Kari Bird. That's so cruel! Give up? No, no, no. Never! And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. Hmm. Huh. That's the spirit? Wait, but where is Paimon and Dane's leaf? To have infinite time yet no hope can only be called torture. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> we'll make another dose. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things <laughs> complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where did you get them? <laughs> I grow them <laughs> in that field. <laughs> Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. 
Baby, that's why it does not work, because you are growing the mushrooms. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Okay. Good. <laughs> then and please head over <laughs> when the time comes. Time passes quickly. Before you know it, it's two in the afternoon. Go to okay, this is this is eh. Give it a follow. We should not be giving him hope. Huh. Like that. Hello, how are you doing? Quit following me. Huh. Yeah, automatic time. Usually Swallow they make us do it, right? You let your toil. Ah, oh, you're back. Uh, uh, Cara Bear's condition is stable. Okay. By which I mean he still isn't responding. I see. Anyway, give me the water. There's the water. Here we go. I I did carefully waters the field. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Okay. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. We can't be picking fight with forest rangers though, because you know. Oh shit. That's not nice. Does watering the field somehow attract monsters? Better fend them off. Wait, where the heck is Dane's leaf? He just left. Hey, do Everybody that. Stand back. Do that. Yeah. Do that. There you go. What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Um, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so... A <laughs> Dane's Leaf Let's quest without with Dane's Leaf, true. I had to spread the fertilizer evenly. Before long, the elemental energy... Next, we oh, okay. pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Hm? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to waste more of my resources because of you. Thank you very much, sir. There we go. I mean, I have a hundred, so that's... My question mark. Here we go. Hmm. Now back to the statue of the seven. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and Never wake up again. You will still have a curry bird. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step. Back to the Statue of the Seven. I don't know. Even after all of this, I don't really trust this guy. He's, he does not seem very trustworthy. Quit you know, all me. the encounters that we had with Lectors in the, the past... They kind of betrayed us very easily. Even after, like, gaining our sympathy and, you know, help. They were, we're betraying here. us, so... Let's begin. I don't trust you. Wait, is Carrie Bird leaving? Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear! Wait, maybe it's not Kari Bird. He left the house. Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Oh, wait, wasn't Kari Bird, like, almost dying? He probably in the house. Come on! We have to catch up with him! 
Let's go back to the house and check if he is... Oh my god. Oh my god. A lamenter at fate's end. Okay. Sure. That's... Uh, that's not Cory Bear. There's no silk scarf around his arm. Oh, right. Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. It would have been easier if we went to the house and saw if Cory Bear was there, but... My... Sure. My eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> There's some... <laughs> This decrepit body of mine. About oh. it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? Let's yes. Go <laughs> the more we know about Hilly Churls, the better. Um, this is so sus. Oh, what the heck? Um... Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. Okay... Oh, let's go! Congrats! What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Look, what are those Healy chairs doing? Huh. It looks like they're uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Floor 12 is definitely painful. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Bro, you're giggling and looks too happy about this. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, here, here in this creepy scene, it's eerily familiar. I okay. Very strange. Do they not attack us? I see. Oh, they attack us. I see. Dare to mess with me? Oh, oh poor oh. Healy Charles. Farazan oh. actually really helps um, Skara. Do we have chess? We usually have chess in this area, so... Hmm. Chess? This, this is kind of like a mix of Enka and Omiya with... The Chasm. It looks like in Kanomiya. You thought the same thing? Yeah, it really like the same architecture as in Kanomiya. And honestly, I really love in Kanomiya. I cried doing the world quest. It was really Oh shit. Oh my god, wait, what is this? A teleportation device? What energy is powering it? What the That was that was interesting. For 
regret. Squall and Fury. This is in Kanomiya. It has the chasm music, but it's in Kanomiya. This is literally the Inkanomiya architecture. Oh. I'm going in! Truth repeats its course. Dare to mess with me? The wind rises. And also, these is kind of like similar to Inkanomiya, right? Fury. Yeah, so 230 is enough for Paruzan C2, by the way. My Faruzan has 230 and she is um, doing pretty okay. ER wise. Mostly because she has a ton of crit rate, so. Oh my god, there's a couple of paths we can go. <laughs> Too slow. Try mouse clicks car skill. I am uh, playing on PlayStation. Where are we going? Huh? How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down, or... Gravity itself? Oh yeah, um, I know he does, uh, he shoots some arrows when you dodge, but I don't really do that if I am not, like, on the abyss or, like, against a lot of enemies. If it's just his limes, that's... I, I just leave him. So... Oh, shit, okay, we're... <laughs> We're going Quit upside down me. now. Um, hold on. I can't do that because there was a chest somewhere else and I need to get that. Maybe I... I can? Okay. I don't want to leave the chest behind. Um... <laughs> Too fun slow. stuff? Okay. Is that open? I like seeing him being thrown like a volleyball, I guess. Because that's what happens. Congrats on your Wanderer. Let's go. Okay, we did it. Seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. I mean, girl, you are, we already found it. That's the place. Why are we trusting this guy? That's so odd. Oh yeah, I will definitely play him with a shield in 4.0. I will use my guarantee on John Lee. I don't know, I, I usually... I, it feels like when you get a character at the guarantee, it's kind of like not as exciting. So Zonli is gonna be like anticlimactic because we know that he's coming home. Oh shit, no! Not you! Halt, humans! Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. Not you. An Abyss Herald? No, he does not look like someone from the Abyss Order. Do you insist on an audience? What audience? What are you talking about, Very bro? Well. 
and I grant you the trial of destiny. I, you know how much I Everybody hate the Cryo Lector? As one with wind and cloud. Gears of the storm. The wind rises. Oh! Oh my god. Fuck. Know your place. You're oh! dead. Oh! Adventure time. That's why you don't play him without a shield. Um, hello, I couldn't dodge. Thank Off you. We go. I'm going in. Hello. Fury. Gotcha. Oh, why am I not hitting? Fallen leaves adorn my night. The wind knows me. God, I hate breaking shoes so much. Let's light it up. Ah! How'd you miss, Bennett? Bennett, how did you miss, Bennett? Huh? Goddamn, Bennett. Who was that? He was... Uh, he was... I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. Aww. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> you have unconventional taste. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. We're always going crazy. Let's Everybody view our back. characters, I guess. And maybe like some other characters that need charged, like Amber. You know, some hardcore Amber fam will probably get it. I think we've made it to the end. What is that thing? Wrap it in chains, hanging in midair, emanating a sinister aura. Oh! Hello? I couldn't read! That's too fast! Uh, remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. The Grand Thief? Um, I'm doing good, how are you doing? This place is bad news, we've got to go. Ah, <sighs> uh, shit. Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Well, that was Dainsley's first quest. Oh, I see. Yeah, with the upside down statue of the seven. Yeah, I don't, I didn't remember the teeth though. Whose voice is that? It must be coming from right inside my head. Can't I hear it? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For I am no god. I am but a sinner. A sinner? You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. You need no longer hold back your resentment. Nor accept the countless lies. What? Go forth. Become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time. As I gaze back upon your life. Who in the world are you? What does these words mean? 
Thank you. Um, what is happening to him? I did. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. When I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Are you all right? I am. I feel uh, good. In fact, I, I I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. True, the jiggle physics is a lie. Something's not right about this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, is that so? All right, uh, as you wish. Something happened to him. Something already happened. Okay, we leaving. Didn't we get like a big chest or anything like that? No. Okay, thank you. Well, bye. Bye, cave. Bye, Enkanomia. To Enkanomia second. Kari Bear. Oh, thank goodness. He's still okay. Why are we back here? I, I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. I don't really understand what's <laughs> going on anymore. You say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. Uh, that sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I... I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> I I like some of the world quests. I just wish some of them were voiced. For example, the one that starts in the chasm. I feel like it would have been better if it was, you know, part of like a chain of voiced quests. Another dose of medicine is administered to the Healy Churl. <sighs> Kari Bear. <laughs> Wait, what? That makes no sense! Papa? That makes no sense! Oh, Kari Bear! Oh, my goodness, it worked! It's a miracle! Oh, I oh Kari Bear! Can't... Oh, my dear son! I can't believe it! You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! Uh, where's... Mama... <laughs> Kill it? Mama is... Uh, Kari Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? What the... Of course. You're Papa. <laughs> yes! Salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes! This is... This is what this feeling is. Um... They are all from Conria. They are humans, yes. You would give all your money for voicing Arana. Yeah, the Arana quest was really good, but without the voice, um, some parts were kind of like hard to get through. How, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Well, yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. <gasps> My body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, it... Don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conria here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay. With Papa, forever. Am I dead? 
Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? But he's going to die. Like, all of the Healy Churls... You know, all of the Healy Churls end up... Dying. When time comes. Oh. <laughs> You're getting violent <laughs> attack on Titan flashbacks. Oh boy. Um, let's hope this does not go the same way as Attack on Titan. Really? Yes. Really. You've all only just woken up, and and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. All right, bye. Oh, oh, and um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Why? Understand. Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Take off his mask. Quick! Why didn't Sun talk for a long while? I, it seems like a change. Not Oops, since can... that day have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. Bro, Nahida was not even born. But the god we saw in that cave, now, that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that, that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm, now then. After one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, um, do something to show their devotion? I have no idea. Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. That was not a god, that was a sinner. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You... You don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You don't know anything about him either. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? I could tell you. Never. He is but a god I can't. mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous. For example, a god ended the Elazar. So... No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. Well, you just... you just saw the god. Oh, oh, what is this? Your spiritual awakening? What is going on with you, sir? You just saw the guy... like, you didn't even see. Like, what... what... I am going to pay my respects with or without you. You're going crazy. Go ahead! <laughs> Uh, Ida's experience has deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. I guess I'd better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere. I can't stand by and let him fall into their hands. Actually, we can. It's none of our business. You're, we're not being paid. Why? Why? <laughs> Yeah, Nahida is definitely the only innocent one. She didn't participate in any wars. She was not even born. Enter the cavern again? Oh dear me, I didn't realize that we were going back. <laughs> we got paid in Primo Gems? Not yet. The quest needs to be done. No. 
wind rises. The boar. The boar was out for revenge. Slow. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Let's light it up. I don't have energy for any of my characters. One with nature. Dare to mess with me? Behold! There you go. Behold! Quit following me. Why does he say quit following me? Because, like, technically we're not following him, right? He's following us. If we would use logic. Because he's on our party. So, like, we would be leading the party. Huh. So nobody's really following Quit him. following me. Bro! Five on is? Oh, no. Squall and fury. <laughs> Upon the gale. Yeah, the battle team is really pretty. The battle team for Fontaine is also going to be amazing, huh? Hurry back! No, oh, impossible! What happened? It's gone. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. We were in a fever dream. What? Was it all an illusion? That seems unlikely. We couldn't have both seen the same exact illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Bro is far gone now. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future, we shall see it again. You're turning into a zealot. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Okay. That's... Is this all an illusion? Like, are we hallucinating? What is happening? Kari Bear? Where has he gone? Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he'd... Then we need to find him? Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Maybe Carrie Bird took the oh, no. mirror. Did he? Oh shit, did he take his mask off? Oh shit. Oof. <gasps> he saw how he looks. Yeah. Okay. The mirror, it's broken. I mean, it was already broken. Um, I used the R5 with Sif on Skara. But hasn't the mirror been broken this whole time? What does the broken mirror mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. <laughs> If he'd just done as he was told! <sighs> oh, we have to find him. All right. What's that? It's his scarf. He dropped it. This, is, this looks like a piece of paper, not his scarf. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, Come on. 
Yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon for him. I think like at R5, it's kind of like his third weapon in third best in slot. Corribear, where are you? Oh shit, there's people. Oh, forest rangers! Oh, Corribear's dead. He dead. Curses, forest rangers. Yep. Hey, who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Hello. I am Nana. Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. Have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Uh... Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Oh, Those shit. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Rangers! Curse you all, Forest Rangers! Stop it! Oh, both sides calm down for now. Thanks for your... Thanks to our urging? Really? Huh. Okay, then. <sighs> I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. <laughs> you... Um. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not going to let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <clears throat> use the toilet. Right. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. That could well have been Caribur. <gasps> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's let's go. Uh, we have to find him. Um. Why don't we use elemental Wait, sight? you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info. Goodbye. Sorry about that. I guess Carrie Bird is still alive. Oh, he is. Oh, shit. Um. Uh, Carrie Bird, are you good? Carrie Bear! We found him. Carrie Bear, stop! It's me! It's, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was. It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you. We're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Watch this not even be Kari Bear. Oh, it is Kari, Kari Bear. Bear? Okay. He's not responding. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely. Maybe he just regained his mind for a second. Come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Something's not right with him? What What has that strange power done to him? Uh... Oh... Papa... Cardi Bear... Papa, I can't take it. Please, Cardi Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much. Papa! Oh no! <gasps> what is gonna ha- oh sh- uh... <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. Did he die? <laughs> Wait, what happened to me? What the heck? Is... 
going on in this quest? What happened? Did I faint? I remember Caribur taking his mask off, but then... Ah, traveler, you're awake. Finally, we can rejoice together. Rejoice? What are you talking about? Wait, no. Why am I still calling you traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. What do you mean true identity? <laughs> Uh... I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. I've never met you. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status here, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant. I once had. Wait, so Caribert is not your son? My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberich. Um, you can't be. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us, Sinner. Is it? It was one and the same. Kaya's dad? <laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with uh, my own eyes. Uh, what happened to Kari Bear? That is no business of yours. <laughs> A sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. That, that can't be Kaya's dad. It's not, no, it makes no sense. Karabair did not deserve his fate, but now it's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... The loom of fate. Is th there's that term again. The loom of fate. You write about him being from the abyss. But the abyss is sinister and dangerous. Huh. Wait, maybe Kaya is Carrie Bird. Like, he was telling us this story about his son. And, like, it's a real story. But, like, he was just using the Hilichur as an excuse. And then that was Kaya's story? Is that what is happening? I am confused. Because if so, that's so messed up. Kaya is from pure bloodline. Hello, Sis, how are you doing? Is he? He said that he has roots in Cambria. He never really said that he is pure bloodline. Have he? That's why he didn't transform. But does that mean that he's always going to be like... Wait, th does that mean that he's like Dane's Leaf and that he's suffering? And does he know about the Healy Churls? He is because only pure bloodlines can be turned into Healy Churl. Kyle could have been born after the curse. There is also that possibility. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the Abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the Abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the Abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. What the... But what did you bring us instead? Well, I... Oh, Prince of Conria. Huh? Wait, what? That makes no sense! That's Lumine! Oh, did he just call me? <laughs> There's Lumine. Wait, what? Ah. Eh? 
Eater? Wait, what? Traveler. Hey, Traveler! Traveler! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Have we been seeing Eater's side of the story all this time? Oh, thank goodness you're awake! All right. Jaime was worried sick! Uh, uh, Traveler? Traveler? God. But... Eater is a prince of Kanria? But what about Lumine? Have not they been traveling together for like ages and ages? What happened while you were unconscious? A lot. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Alberich. What happened to him? You mean Clotar Alberich? Yes. After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. You were going to say you thought we were going to wake up as Eater, but it looked like we did. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. Okay. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Maybe we will see him again eventually. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was mm. just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. My brother ultimately sided with him, didn't he? You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. I have a story to what tell happened? you. A <laughs> very strange story. Hmm. Your words and things live deep into thought. So you saw hey. his memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? I also wish uh, that I could know what he thought about all of that. But one thing is clear, this was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. There's something I need to check? What is it? I need to know what lies buried in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Oh, well, God. Well, let's start digging and see. That's not a good idea! You scared the duke out of my mind! <laughs> did, did you rebury them yet? <laughs> this scared the duke? We're done, you can open your- Okay, so it was bodies? A male and female skeleton, buried together. What the heck? Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Wait, so it's, um, the mom and Kari bird. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? Or no, it's not. It's Kari Bird and Clotar Alberic? What the fuck is happening? Wait, 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 who is the lady? Wait, 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 I'm so confused. I think that the bones of that man belong to Clotar Alberic? What? That's impossible. Unless Clotar Alberic finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Perhaps he did. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think, and to search my memories for some missing pieces. Okay. We should part ways here. Hey, who is going into my teapot right now? Huh? 
You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? The voice that I heard inside my head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. Okay. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. Heck. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. All right. Let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. Bye, Dainsley. Until the end of um, Fontaine's Arkham Quest. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, Paimon, one more thing. Mm -hmm. What is it? I missed you. Oh, <laughs> That's cute. Ah, oh, that was cute, the ending. Yay. Um, hello? 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 Yay, I'm ready for Fontaine! Wow! That was a lot! This quest was a lot! <laughs>